Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker and Scott Kirshner. ARHQ.com is the website. You want to find out more about the team, upcoming events, schedule a time to speak with them. You can also give a call, 419-794-3030. Truth be told, some people get worked up over the word retirement because it stirs up financial concerns, fear of boredom, and coping with change. And that's why a money blogger, J.L. Collins, quite frankly, he isn't a fan of the word retire. He thinks a better phrase is to achieve financial independence. For me, financial independence just means that you have more options. And if one of those options is, you know what, I'm done working. I want to go put her around the house and garden or I want to travel the world or whatever you want to do, that's fine. But the other thing I'll say is if you're focused enough and hardworking enough and is smart enough to achieve financial independence, it's almost inconceivable to me that you're just going to sit on a beach somewhere and do nothing going forward. And a lot of times when you start doing those other things, they wind up paying you money. And sometimes they even wind up paying you more money than your regular career job did. We've said it before here on the show, retirement's not really the end of the story. It's the start of the next great chapter. And so do you have clients that look at retirement as that new start instead of, you know, kicking back and relaxing? And does that begin with a whole new set of meetings because they're ready to figure out their second act? It, it really does. Um, we did an economic summit a couple of years ago where we had Brian Dickinson come and he spoke. And he was a gentleman. He had climbed Mount Everest. And when he had got to the top of Mount Everest, his goggles had fallen off. And hmm. apparently up there, it's so bright that if that happens, you can physically go blind because sure. of the, the amount of sun that gets in your eyes. And, and that's actually what happened to him. And so he explained his story of getting off Mount Everest in what the book is called Blind Descent, essentially being blind. And everybody thought, unfortunately, you know, he perished up there, but he made it back. And so the, the second phase of life, that new start, um, is when you transition from your working years mm-hmm. to retirement. I do like in this example where they call it financial independence. And I guess a lot of people can get somewhat anxiety uh, because it's something new. It's right. something that they're not used to. Um, but I can also, you know, share lots of stories with you about the new starts and the new opportunities it creates for you to be able to do stuff, um, whether that's, you know, travel more, spend time with the grandkids, sure. uh, get to do some things that you want to do. To me, it really comes down to shifting from a strategy of saving and growing to a strategy of protecting and generating income. Uh, This is a philosophy that we've put together. It's called the independent income system. If you Google independent income system, what you can do is you can watch a video that we put together on the threats and opportunities facing retirees today. But it really comes down to the number one concern that a retiree has is outliving their income, right? If they worked all these years and now they move into financial independence or retirement, they need to be comfortable that they know they have enough money that's coming in. I'll give you a great example of somebody else that we recently met with. We'll call her Carol. Uh, Carol is uh, a couple of years out until retirement time, and she had purchased a variable annuity a a couple of years ago. Now, annuities can be good and bad. Again, it depends upon understanding the pros and cons of how they work. I generally don't use a lot of variable annuities because of the fees and expenses that are associated with it. But in talking with Carol and understanding her situation, not married, no kids, her goal was to make sure that she had enough reliable income to cover her minimum monthly income needs. And so when we looked at Social Security, to Mm -hmm. me, it logically made sense to go ahead and have a chunk of money in something that provided her a reliable income. Sure. And that's what her annuity did is it would give her a paycheck, you know, in the future when she retired at a set period of time each and every month for as long as she lived even if the account went to zero. But by doing some reviews on it and, you know, doing the analysis what we had found is that because interest rates went up so fast here in the last couple of years, she was able to take and replace that in an annuity and get the same level of income for about 70% less in fees wow. and uh, be able to still have that minimum monthly income need covered by upgrading her annuity. So a takeaway from that is reliable lifetime income is important for a lot of folks. A lot of folks have chose to purchase an annuity to accomplish that. 
If you have an annuity today and it's more than a couple of years old, you should get a hold of our office because what we could do is look at possibly refinancing that annuity to take advantage of where the lower cost or the higher payout rates are in today's environment. Um, when we look at this, the new start, Scott, I'd say that the second biggest fear that I think people run into is uh, the fear of health care costs. Sure, absolutely. And, and that's a big fear for everybody, and it should be. Because if you look at, um, uh, you know, medications, if you're on some really high medications, and I've been running into that a lot this year, um, you know, you got your Mongero, your Trulicity, uh, a lot of your um, um, uh, Jardians, um, Genuvia, those are big, big ticket items. And uh, I, I had a client that was in my office a week or so ago, and their out-of-pocket expense for medications was upwards of $4,000. You know, and, um, you know, it, it's very disheartening when you sit there in, across the table and you see somebody's face just drop by, like, how am I going to afford this? Uh, so there are things to be, you that you can do to kind of prepare for that. Um, and like you said, Nolan, with your independent income system, taking the buckets of money, you know, you want to change your gears when it goes, uh, when you get to retirement. Young guys like our kids, you know, Troy and, and Andrew, are, are, are at a point in their life where they can be very, very aggressive in their investing. They've got a lot of years left to recover, right? But when you're talking to people that are, 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 are in retirement now, you know, I always say it's one thing to be aggressive up to retirement, but you need to change gears moving through retirement. Uh, so that's one of the things like with your independent income system that really comes into play is setting those buckets of money aside for different types of things. Um, and, you know, healthcare being one of them. Absolutely. And, you know, if you get the income and you have reliable income, you figure out healthcare, um, that's important. I had some people we just met with last week and they said, you know, one of the reasons why we want to work with you is because of that comprehensive approach, mm -hmm. you know, they have an advisor. They had a little bit of some service issues with their advisor, which led them into us. But, you know, they had mentioned to me that all their advisor ever talks to them about is just their investments. And, right. you know, we're here talking to you about your uh, health insurance, your right. estate planning, your taxes, your investments, because the decisions that you make in one area are going to impact, you know, all the decisions together. And that's ultimately how you get to complete financial independence. Um, that's how you kind of get a new start. That's how you have a new plan put in place. And, you know, having that financial plan is going to help take you from that uh, worrisomeness about what does retirement look like to confidence about your retirement um, to make you feel comfortable to be able to move forward uh, with doing the things that you want to do. Uh, there could be other job opportunities, other volunteer opportunities that come up along the way. But as you, you talk about it, to shift. So, again, point in mind if those of you that are listening um, if you're a little bit worried about the retirement as a new start uh, maybe you've got some concerns you want to check off the list you want to find out about the independent income system give us a call we'll talk to you about how to take it and turn it into getting you know point of being confident to get to and through retirement that's really what it's all about you know there is a point in time where investments are critical and should be probably the sole focus when you're in the working world, you know, in your, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, at some point as you get closer and closer to retirement or financial uh, independence, however you want to phrase it, uh, the focus should uh, shift a little bit to uh, how to make that into sustainable income getting through your retirement. And that is where the team at America's Retirement Headquarters comes into play. Over 75 plus years of combined industry experience uh, within their their office walls. And so to get them on your side to help craft that plan, it all starts with that phone call, 419-794-3030. Once again, 419-794-3030. Or you can visit the website as well, and that's at arhq.com.